Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're all doing fine. So welcome to another episode. Today we're gonna analyze as usual the Bitcoin price and we also gonna have a look into Ethereum. So we're gonna start straight here in the four hour time frame for Bitcoin because we are trying again to push higher and start to close again four hour candles above the 20 moving average. As you can see, we are attacking again this resistance moving average here in the four hour time frame. For now, we are still in a downtrend, but in my opinion, we are about to potentially start to close again four hour candles above this moving average. And then we could see this potential play out of this breather towards $54,000. And that's why I opened up again a little long position here because I still expect in the short term that we could reach this target right here at the top of the EMA ribbons to potentially also go higher and test the 200 moving average here in the four hour time frame, which currently is here at around 55K. So what we are seeing right now here in the four hour time frame, since we are now touching again the bottom of this potential falling wedge that we are in here in the bigger time frames, we have right now a potential double bottom formation here in the four hour time frame and also two nice buy signals right here at around 46k. And that's why in my opinion, it's very likely that here we could have a retest of this previous support here at around 54k, which now could be turning into a new resistance. So so we have to watch out what will happen once we are having this breather towards 54k because if here we are getting again rejected and we confirm this is a new resistance then in my opinion we are definitely headed again towards this bottom of this falling wedge and that would mean that we are not done with our correction and we will potentially go to lower levels before we definitely bottom out and then gear up towards new all-time highs and break out here to the upside because if we switch over now into the daily time frame you can see this potential falling wedge forming here and we have a clear resistance up here currently at around fifty-eight thousand dollars this is also where exactly right now the top of the Keltner channel is right here at 58k so once we're closing again they candles above the top of the Keltner channels and also above this resistance of this potential falling wedge then I think we are out of the woods from this correction and we will head towards new all-time highs and expect big explosive moves to the upside but until then I just expect that we most likely are just going to go sideways here or lower until then we're gonna have a breakout to the upside and as long as we are staying within this falling wedge, it's very likely that we could even correct down towards the 200 daily moving average, especially if we are just going sideways here, this moving average will come here towards this uh, low 40s level where I think latest there, we could see then a big bounce to the upside. And this is also more or less where right now the nine monthly moving average is lining up. So if we can maintain the price above the nine monthly moving average, so above 35K during the whole month of May, then this moving average will come very close to the actual price level. And this nine monthly moving average usually is always acting as a very, very strong support, even stronger than the 20 weekly moving average. You can also see that during this actual bull run, we came always very close to the nine monthly moving average, this white line here. And every time we were very close to this moving average, we always have seen big explosive moves to the upside. And right now we are far away from this moving average. And that's why in my opinion, it's still very likely that we're gonna go towards this low 40s level before we definitely bottom out. Maybe also get a buy signal in the hash ribbons indicator and afterwards we continue our our parabolic bull run. So it's very possible that in the next coming days and weeks, we're gonna just go sideways or lower until then we gear up again towards new all time highs. And here also in the past, you can see that in also in 2017, the nine monthly moving average always acted as a very strong support until we reached here the all time high of around $20,000. The nine monthly moving average always acted as a very strong support. A couple of times we came very close to this moving average, but at the end it always held as a very strong support. And the same thing goes also here in 2013. As you can see, we always came very close to the nine monthly moving average and afterwards always had big pushes to the 
upside until then of course we started again to close monthly candles below the nine monthly moving average then it acted as a new resistance until then we started another bull run and since i still think that this is not the end of our bull market and we're gonna see way higher levels so i don't think that this is the cycle top and that's why i still think that if we're coming down to the nine monthly moving average that will be an ultimate good buy and long opportunity for bitcoin because afterwards latest then i'm expect here big continuations to the upside and i don't think that this is the cycle top for our bull market for this year so keep this price level here in the low 40s level in mind my friends because if we're gonna continue this downtrend if we're gonna continue to stay in this falling wedge here in the daily time frame then i can imagine that we will see this low 40s level maybe even dip a little bit below that towards the nine monthly moving average of course we're also gonna have to update that moving average in june because then it will be at around forty thousand dollars so if we can remain above the nine monthly moving average and also both the 200 daily moving average for the month of may then i think that we will most likely not see prices below 40k but that we're gonna see the low 40s level in my opinion it's very likely as especially as long as we are not breaking out from this falling wedge we still have the chance that we might form here already a big double bottom formation in the daily time frame and then go straight towards the resistance here currently at $58,000 and then have a big breakout to the upside. But if we would get rejected here and fall down again towards the support of this falling wedge, then we could test this low 40s level before we definitely bottom out and then have a big breakout to the upside latest then. So if we're getting here a breather towards the surprise level here of around $54,000 in my opinion it's very likely short term then we're gonna see what will happen because here we have previously a lot of support now this could be acting as a very strong resistance we have also right now the top of the EMA ribbons here and also the 20 daily moving average so here we could face some huge resistance and here potentially see a rollover back down so if you're taking here a long position with me then make sure to set a stop loss in profits once we're taking these $54,000 or otherwise take profits here and maybe if we're able to push higher and break this resistance to open up then a new long position once we're breaking this huge resistance up here at $58,000 because as long as we are not going above $58,000 I still remain more bearish that we're gonna go lower here maybe a bit sideways before we definitely bottom out here and then continue our parabolic bull run towards new all-time highs and towards levels way above 100k so watch out for $54,000 if you're taking here a long position with this potential breather to the upside that is incoming in my opinion especially as soon as the RSI is again trading above the 50 level latest then I expect that we go and test this 54k and then we're gonna see what will happen there and now let's switch over into the ethereum chart because ethereum right now is also falling down below the ema ribbons here in the four hour time frame and for now also ethereum is looking quite healthy that we could get a nice bounce to the upside but also here if in the next coming hours and days we are not able to close again four hour candles above the ema ribbons so above three thousand nine hundred dollars then i'm afraid that also here we could be entering into a downtrend at least here in the lower time frames even though we got two nice buy signals and also here we could form a potential double bottom formation in the four hour time frame everything is looking bullish for ethereum but if we are not able to close again four hour candles above this important price level then I'm afraid that also here we could continue to fall lower and we could enter into a downtrend here in the lower time frames but if Bitcoin is able to push towards 54k then I expect that also Ethereum is able to recover here and potentially create also here a big double bottom formation in the four hour time frame and continue to go higher and if we go now over into the daily time frame here you can see that in theory we are still in an uptrend so a double bottom formation in the four hour time frame is possible but the problem here is that we are starting to close now daily candles below the nine daily moving average so if today we are confirming this nine daily moving average as a resistance here at three thousand nine hundred dollars it's very likely that we're gonna have at least one more push down towards the 20 daily to finally test this important moving average right here at three thousand five hundred dollars before maybe also here we could get a big breather to the upside 
So in the daily time frame, it looks like that we potentially are confirming now this nine daily moving average now as a resistance. If today we're going to close below $3,900 and then the next target would be down here $3,500. So watch out for today's close for Ethereum. If it's going to be above $3,900, then in my opinion, also here, we're gonna see big moves to the upside, especially if Bitcoin is able to push towards 54K or maybe even higher. Then the correction could be also over here for Ethereum. Otherwise, be prepared that we could easily drop now towards $3,500. So with that said guys, I'm gonna wrap it up for now. If you like the content, make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel. I do daily TA videos and a big shout out goes over to Bitscap. They are offering to our community the pro plan for 14 days completely for free. This is an all-in-one platform where you can connect all your exchanges like Binance, Coinbase and so on to one platform and then you can run trading bots on them and also do arbitrage. So they are very profitable. There is also a tutorial video popping up at the end of this video so check it out and also sign up with my link so you can test it for 14 days and if it's profitable for you then you can upgrade to a monthly plan which is starting by only $19 a month. So you should get this money very easily and quickly back. And another big shout out goes out to our great Discord trading chat. If you want to join our Discord community, use the invitation link that you also find in the description. Then go here to read first and click on this thumbs up button to confirm that you are human and not a bot. Then you have free access to the trading chat. And this is also the place where you can get access to my own indicator, which is giving you buy and sell signals for Bitcoin. So if you want to take advantage of this all in one indicator, then contact me here with a private message because a small donation is needed in order to get access to it. Otherwise, just get a YouTube membership. Then you have access to the live stream directly here on YouTube. So thank you again very much for watching my friends and we're gonna see us all in the next one. Bye!